This is the Be More Circuit. So this collection is a culmination of a lot of stuff I've been doing previously, uh, playing with the idea of how much control I was going to exert over my work and leaving a, a good bit of uh, the structural part up to chance. I started to get these really cool opportunities that started to come out and I started to work with those. Um, and I found that working in a way that's going to evoke a human figure um, simply by adding an eye created this really interesting contrast between focus and a release of focus, so to speak. Uh, this, is, uh, this has been a great opportunity to be able to really kind of escape the distractions that normally prevent me from getting in the studio and, and, and you know, fully immersing myself for longer periods of time. Um, so just being home and kind of being stuck in the house, I was able to sneak out to the studio. It was almost like, um, like my realm of sanity for not being stuck at home all day, every day. So I'd come to the studio at least once a day and, and do something. And usually something leads into a whole day's worth of work. Well, I think nothing's worth risking your health. So it's never worthwhile to put yourself in a situation where you're gonna compromise your health because at the end of the day, it's not gonna help you make artwork if you're not healthy. Uh, that being said, um, if you have a studio like me where not a lot of people are gonna be every day, I'm the only one in the, sp in the space pretty much when I come in. So I'm not coming in contact with anybody. The way I paint is really messy, so I need a studio, but you know, there's ways of doing stuff that's not quite as messy and you can do from home, even if you don't have a studio space to work out of. So I have been working with Aubrey Artworks. Uh, for the last couple months, we were doing pop-ups um, here in Baltimore and DC. So we'd go into spaces for just a, a couple hours instead of uh, you know, hanging work like a typical gallery would um, you know, for an entire month or whatnot. Uh, and, and it's been a unique, uh, uniquely successful approach because we're able to have a lot more flexibility in terms of the places we go. We can actually bring the artwork to people and make it a bit more convenient. Um, however, now we've actually scaled it a bit differently uh, with the COVID. Uh, so we're able to teach classes uh, remotely and we're actually just about to launch our online gallery. Uh, so you can actually view work and check some work out and help out some local artists um, remotely without anybody coming into close contact and risking any, any health. You can always check out my work on Instagram, on my Instagram page, um, Josh Brooks Studios. Um, and I'm always willing to answer direct messages, of course. Um, so you can message me on there all you want, and I always check it regularly. Um, I also work with Aubrey Artworks, um, so you'll see some of my work on their Instagram, as well as Marquette Marketing, or shall I say Marketing Marquette? Um, and you can see some of my work there as well. Uh, you can also reach out and contact either of those people and the message will certainly get to me. I'm Josh Brooks, and this is Quarantine Chats with Marketing Marquette.